Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and we're going to be looking at another histogram question that's going to have us dissecting these two uh, sets of histogram about cheetahs and their spots. So let's go ahead and take a look at the question. Make sure you pause the video and select your answer as we get going here, and then unpause it to see if you got it right and to see which key concept helps us figure it out. So we have two histograms here, number one and number two, with unique variations and distributions for our cheetahs with their spot sizes. The question we're looking to answer is, which histogram has a larger variation of cheetahs with different spots? So is it histogram one? Is it histogram two? Or is it both histogram one and two have the same, in this case, variation of cheetahs with different spots? So go ahead, take a look at our histograms, decide which answer you feel is best, pause the video to pick your answer in the slideshow, and then obviously come back to see the answer. All right, do you think you got it? Let's go ahead and take a look. Which histogram has a larger variation of cheetahs? Whenever we think variation, we have to think the number of traits. And we know that each histogram shows up to 10 different variations of spot sizes, but we have to look at where do we have the distribution of each variation. So when we look at the first histogram, we see that there's no distribution at the first variation and the 10th variation. So we don't have any cheetahs with the smallest and the largest spots. We have distribution at two through nine, and the size of the bar doesn't necessarily matter. We know we have cheetahs in those spots. When we look at the second histogram, we see the same 10 variations, but here we see that we're missing bars in one and two, meaning we have cheetahs with spot sizes three to 10, but not one to two. So when we're looking at which has the larger variation of spots, well, uh, histogram one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight variations, all with spots. And histogram number two has three through 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. So when we're looking at which of these has more, we have eight and eight. So the answer is both have the same. We know this because we can describe the traits present by the number of individuals that have each trait. We see there are no individuals with these two traits. We see there are no individuals with these two traits. We see we have individuals with these eight. We see we have individuals with these eight. Therefore, they have the same. That's how we decide our answer using our key concepts. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck with the rest of your questions.